Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a new episode of Legends. Uh, tonight on the show, we are taking a look at Cory Milhouse's version of Hexamarket uh, Assassin. <laughs> and um, I must say, I was quite impressed with the combo that he had found uh, alongside the Landral Hexmage. Here comes Gnarl Rootbender, and what he says, when an action targets Gnarl Rootbender, draw a card. So, uh, in case in the previous installment in Bridge Innovation's um, Hexa Market Assassin, uh, you kind of had to wait for, um, I don't know, your hand to be full of actions. Basically, you don't have to do it anymore. Or you can just wait and drop Null Rootbender, and if the opponent does not uh, catch on quickly, uh, you'll basically be drawing infinite stuff because all the zero cost cards and uh, shadow shifts and all that, you will be targeting Null Rootbender and draw extra cards. Uh, you'll be drawing Spores of War, Debilitate, uh, and all sorts of other stuff you can use uh, to push for lethal <laughs> pretty fast, actually. Um, so, um, I don't think uh, there's any point in going over the deck. Oh, we have Saron Bo uh, Pawnbroker as well. Um, this is an, an addition. It wasn't in the previous installment. Uh, I think it's great if you draw uh, Swindler's Markets. Uh, otherwise, it's kind of useless. But I think it's a, a bit better than uh, than the, the previous uh, uh, two costs. Uh, which uh, drew you an action if the top card was an action, otherwise your card ended up at the bottom of your deck. So if it was an important uh, card, such as Swindle Market or Lelandro Hux Mage, it would have gotten to the bottom of the deck and you'd be kind of doomed. So this is the deck and uh, let's have some fun with it. And we're fighting against a Tilvani. This should be interesting. Uh, to see if, uh, I don't know, there are a couple of drains. Also, if the Silvani is uh, Nixox combo, uh, it remains to see if uh, we can overcome whatever my opponent will throw at us. Two shadow shifts off the bat, very useful. I can play one next turn. Good thing my opponent uh, didn't summon anything as well. Moving shadows. So I'm waiting for Null Root Bender. Oh, there's one. Oh, I spike in Swindle's Market. Hmm, tricky. I will give Ice Spike to my opponent. Because I have enough zero costs uh, to draw many, many cards. Curious to see if my opponent uh, has any Shadowfin Priest to deal with my Swindle's Markets. What I'm going to do is drop I could drop once uh, the Swindles market and see how my opponent reacts. <clears throat> he can play for five magic a Shadow and Priest. And no Shadow and Priest. <laughs> I got a bit scared there with that ring charge going pop. Uh, I've got eight cards in my hand. I'll drop a Thief Skill Recruit, and I just threw another lesser ward. Sh uh, shadow, sh uh, shadow marking, and I will send. I could send Null Bender over to my opponent. I got one in hand. But I'll send a Shadow marking. In case uh, one Gnarl Vendor gets removed, at least uh, I'll be able to play the second. So next turn, I will drop one Gnarl. But first, let's uh, shackle this dude. Otherwise, I would have overdrawn. Another Thorn His Mage. Magic is way, way buffed. Less award. I'll drop Gnarl Bender and start drawing some good cards. Let's see. 
Okay, and we got forked bolt. Let's move. Draw another card. Shadow shift. Oh, we could play shadow shift. Yep, let's do it. And we got a Landrill Hex Mage. That is awesome. And I will end my turn. Actually, I need to play something, otherwise I'll overdraw again, because my opponent will have uh, 10 damage. 10. <laughs> it remains to see if uh, he will go for face, or will he trade. I'll just leave uh, Thieves Guild Recruit right there. Got debilitate next turn. I could play that. I can also easily trade with my normal vendor into that. Uh, never mind. Oh, I'll draw another card. Oh, I will overdraw so much. Black hand messenger. Oh, here comes the drain. Problematic. <clears throat> Okay, no trade. Oh, he did a trade. Well, that was... I think that was a big mistake. I would have... Over oh, I am going to overdraw. <laughs> Never mind. So I'll get uh, a card from Shadow Marking. And the next card will go spoof. And it'll be... Oh, no. No. Was another Lalandrel Hex Mage. I have no idea what to lay down. Well, I'll drop the Lalandrel Hex Mage because I can uh, I can clear the entire board. I believe. Let's give her a lesser ward. I won't be able to clear the entire lane. Let's shadow shift. And gnarled root bender. Oh boy. I'll play lesser ward. On the black hand messenger. Oh, great. My opponent is starting to overdraw. That's good. I'm not going to play the second debilitate. I'll wait for that. Currently, I am in a very good condition. Broken three runes off my opponent. I'm Black Hand Messenger. Crew Fire Bloom. My opponent is going to drain a bit. What will it be? I got one more. Uh, those Market. Oh no, Piercing Twilight. This is going to be a nightmare. Guessing Lilandro Hex Mage will go bye bye. <laughs> oh, this is getting bad. Uh, from bad to worse, actually. I've lost one Lilandro Hex Mage to overdraw, and now every Lilandro Hex Mage has gone bye bye. Destroyed, actually banished by Fishing Twilight. Luckily, I have two. Two. No. Uh, Gnarl root banders in my hand, but I don't have any zero costs. Uh, too few zero costs, actually. I'll play the second Swindles Market. The first one hasn't uh, been removed thus far, so let's try and get rid of uh, something. That's good. Black Hand Messenger.
But opponent starts attacking. And pops some runes that would be excellent. Ordinary Necromancer. Blackhand Messenger. Will it target itself? No. It did not. Queen Berenzia. A more drain. Oh, just that's just great. <laughs> that is just great. I will try... See if I can contain uh, all the drain. I can't play debilitate. Let's see what kind of zero costs I will draw from Saron Pawnbroker. Cruel Fire Bloom. Let's shackle Queen and wait. Got only one more gnarled root bender, and that's it. No more hex mages. One market that is somewhere in the deck. My opponent is at 14 HP with the possibility of good lord. <laughs> oh my, oh my. Another black hand messenger. That means more drain and less chances for me to end the game. <laughs> 16 HP. Ah. And I have actually I have only the ability that I can play to get rid of all the nasty stuff. If my opponent decides to uh, throw a swing at me, yes, that is great because I will pop myself one rune. Let's play debilitate. And uh, that's four damage. Oh, and the last debilitate that I had in the deck. All I need now is a lot of zero costs. Like a lot of zero costs. I need to play, in order to reduce uh, that 16 uh, HP, I need to play at least eight zero cost cards. I have only two in my hand right now. <laughs> there goes Cruel Fire Bloom. I think I have one more in my hand, which was generated by Saron Pondbroker. The deck contains only one Cruel Fire Bloom. Daggerfall Mage. Oh, I can safely play another debilitate. Uh huh. Yeah, I do need to play uh, another debilitate. <clears throat> oh, I can wait. Let's see, Saron Pondroka. What will it give us? All right. We've got three zero costs uh, so far. I will still wait because uh, next turn I can drop down um, my last normal bender and try to gain some zero costs. Or maybe, maybe I'll get a market. Who knows? Oh. Primary win condition <laughs> is the Landral Hex Mage. With that out of the picture, it's going to be pretty, pretty hard. Mondo Stone, oh my god. Tree Minder. Tree Minder. I'm guessing he won't push for face. He kind of burned his hand, like really burned his hand. Only two cards remain in uh, in my opponent's pockets. Now the thing is, 
I can actually reduce a debility to another zero cost. Oh, and we just got another zero cost. That is awesome. And Kano, I'll take more damage. Gladly. Another rune break. And uh, another action. Oh, right. We've got the arsenal prepared. Let's drop uh, Norwood Bender. Hopefully it will not get mummified by some random uh, prophecy. Spores of war. And paralyze. Oh, we got this. Uh, let's play curse. Let's play curse on uh, on the tree minder. Uh, actually, let's let's make our opponent lose guards. It's much better than playing curse on tree minder. You can play curse on something else, and with stability, I will be able to reduce. Ah, uh, damn it! <laughs> they lose cover. They don't lose guard. Oh well. <laughs> Spores of War. And we got Firebolt and another Spoils of War. I'll play Spoils of War. And we got Market. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, baby. Come on. Firebolt. Let's draw another zero cost. Oh, and right now, we only need to play four zero costs to win. Because I got three Markets. Ah, oh, the sticks will have it. Animation. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't tell me I've left my phone with just 3 HP. No! Oh, I queued up the actions! <laughs> I was able to queue up the actions. And ah, the game was over. Oh, there's the little battery. <laughs> Signature left for the end. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Cheers.